Welcome to the Sharon Jones Show, where we're keeping up with the Joneses. And now here's your host, Sharon Jones. Welcome to the Sharon Jones Show. I am so excited today. I have guests on today that you would love to hear. So don't touch the dial because we have Mr. Ivy Lee Frawley which is a professional guy in our community. And we also have prophetess Letitia Rice that's going to give you some information and that's going to hook you up to something that you need in your life, the prophetic. So keep it locked. We'll be right back. Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Reverend Justin E. Garner, Jr. I'm the pastor of the Cornerstone Full Gospel Church. I'm also an author of the book, Through the Eyes of the Watchman. We'd like to invite each and every person to come out and be with us. Our services are Sunday morning at 11 a.m., Sunday night at 6 p.m., and Thursday is our midweek service at 7 p.m. We also have a ladies' meeting Wednesday at 4 o'clock. So we'd like to invite everybody to come out and be with us and just have your liberty in the Lord. In the Zone Barbershop is a place where you can get a nice cut and be in your own zone. Our staff is diverse with skills in men care. We have a very professional and upbeat environment. We specialize in shampooing, men's shaving, clipper cuts, and razor cuts. It is the ultimate man cave, but we're also kid friendly. We are located in the Victory Drive Walmart Shopping Center next to T-Mobile or give us a call. So come on and get in the zone. Sip and Paint with Creations is the ultimate paint experience. Award-winning artist Wanda Deep will guide you through painting, dancing, and the overall interactive art experience. Children's parties, couples parties, team building, or girls' night out. Sip and Paint with Creations. Give us a call or visit our website. Welcome back to the Sharon Jones Show, sitting here laughing and having a great time talking about business. We all business people need to know where to get things done and who has what's popping. So how are you, Mr. Ivy oh. Lee Frawley? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing well, just Good. living and loving and dreaming. All right. You have such a unique name. I wanted to make sure I got it right. So I did get it correct? You did get it right. Ivy Lee Frawley. Okay. It's got a little rhyme to it. Yeah, it does. You got a rhyme to you. <laughs> <laughs> they call you the comedian on the streets, okay? Uh -huh. So I know you got to live up to that name. But I'm talking here today, we want to just go over the Silver Flame Promotional Marketing LLC. Now, that company you started when? I started that company, uh, we've, I've been in business now for a year and a month. So uh, since uh, last June. Okay. Well, what gave you the drive to get this started? Was it something that you always wanted to do? or? Well, I've always been in the media type business, so I've always been focused on uh, how to take people's marketing and just make it thrive. And the Lord led me to where I'm at now. Um, without His guidance, I, I could not have opened up this company. And uh, I just went out uh, with nothing. I had nothing to, to spend and just went out and done it on my own. Wow, that's good. I love it because you're a young man and you mentioned that God allowed this and happened, made this to be possible. You know, sometimes so many people give credit to themselves, not to the, God, the glory of God. And I like the way your company is based in principle from the God uh, prospect. So that just makes it to me all more better when you talk about doing things for people uh, in an excellence and also putting God first. Now tell me, what do you make? I do uh, cups, mugs, pins, hats, anything apparel, printing-wise, business cards. If you need it, I got it. Okay. And my motto is, your business name on most anything. Hmm. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Did you name that yourself? I did. I did. I did all my graphic design. I uh, did my little logo. Um, and just brand it out and uh, put a lot of marketing things out there because in marketing, when you pass things out, it works. Um, uh, for instance, uh, may I talk about my pen? Oh, sure, sure. Uh, this pen is a little light-up pen. You can click it, 
I don't know if the Ooh. Can, viewers can see, but it lights up. I like that. And so with this light up pen, this has increased my business about 10%. Wow. And this pen has been a major marketing factor. And all it is is a little bit of writing that has my logo, my company phone number, and my email address. Wow. Uh, these pens are very hot right now. It's a hot item. Mm. Um, I've got them on sale. And when people hear it on sale price, they like, they like their own sale pricing. Um, but uh, they've, they've been a really big impact for my business. That's um, awesome. Something so small. I've never seen a pen like that. That is beautiful. So you get those in all colors? Um, there's five basic colors for this particular pen. Right. I have all kinds of pens. There's thousands of pens out there. Wow. So if a customer don't you know, like this particular kind, I can find what they need. And that's basically what I focus on is their co customers' needs come first. Yes. And, uh, and anything, like I said, I'm guided by the Lord. So any, any direction, I, I get it. You know, I follow in his footsteps. That's awesome. I love the shirt. I love the logo. I just love it. So you do, uh, like you said, shirts for other people as well. I do. I do a lot of screen printing and embroidery. Okay. Cool. Hmm. That's nice. Now tell me, your customers, are they just local or? I, I've, got, uh, I've got Georgia and Alabama right now as my primary focus. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been having customers call me from Hawaii wanting things because wow. I take a little vacation and when I take vacations I always spread my news. That's and, great. Um, but uh, I do a lot of, in Georgia and Alabama cool. and my customers are, are basically anywhere from new starting businesses to businesses that has been operational for quite some time. So I, I'll take a look at their branding and I'll go alongside them and give them some advice and from my perspective to, to help what they can do to increase revenue, sales, to get their name out, depending on what they want to do. But uh, my main goal is, with any business, is to always keep with your colors. If you notice, I got blue on. So you always, brand recognition is very important anytime in any business. Wow. Yeah, so they can just look at you and identify, even from a distance. That's right. I love that. So do you have a free consultation? Uh, yes, I do. So they, they can call me and we can discuss things. There's no charge to consultation. Um, I, I, they want pricing quotes. There's free estimates. That's good. So I'm there to serve. Very good. Do you find yourself, um, do they pick it up or do you drop it off? Or? Um, I drop it off. I deliver. So okay. everything I have, I deliver to them. My office is located wherever my customer is. Okay. I love that. Is there a delivery fee? Um, there is, but that is included in my price. Mm -hmm. well, that's good. And my pricing has been outstanding for me. So uh, I love it. I've been blessed and continue to stay busy and strong. Good for you. Good for you. So you do fans as well, right? I do. I do church fans. I do. Uh, I can help put the clothes on the fans. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so anything fan related. That's awesome. Okay. Good deal. Now, um, are you real busy this time of the year with the ball season um, coming a little bit more? The, the good thing about the, my position and my company is that I'm always busy. Uh, I always, if I don't have work, I look for it. Um, but I've been blessed to have phone calls coming in from people, referrals and referrals and referrals from uh, logo design to new, new items of purchase. That's great. I tell you, I know that um, from the time I've met you, you've been always in your gear. Every time I see you out, you're in your gear, Silver Flame. That's and right. so you've given me a card before, several cards, mm -hmm. and you've given me a pen, not the light up one, mm -hmm. uh -huh, but I know I got one today coming, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it, it, it's a great thing that you're always in your gear as well. So you always have something 24-7 to put on. Yes, so when you go out, people ask you a lot of questions when they see your gear? Yes, ma'am. And believe it or not, it's not the same shirt all the time. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> Good for you, Mr. Ivy. You guys, keep it locked. We'll be right back, same place, in just a minute. Don't go nowhere. Through the fire is a worship arts ministry located at 3604 Macon Road, Suite 19 in Columbus, Georgia. Through the Fire Ministries ministers by way of workshops, conferences, blogs, and books. 
Our Worship Arts Academy offers classes on worship, leadership, self-esteem, and discipline. Find us on Facebook or visit our website. In the Zone Barbershop is a place where you can get a nice cut and be in your own zone. Our staff is diverse with skills in men care. We have a very professional and upbeat environment. We specialize in shampooing, men's shaving, clipper cuts, and razor cuts. It is the ultimate man cave, but we're also kid friendly. We are located in the Victory Drive Walmart Shopping Center next to T-Mobile or give us a call. So come on and get in the zone. Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Reverend Justin E. Garner, Jr. I'm the pastor of the Cornerstone Full Gospel Church. I'm also an author of the book, Through the Eyes of the Watchman. We'd like to invite each and every person to come out and be with us. Our services are Sunday morning at 11 a.m., Sunday night at 6 p.m., and Thursday is our midweek service at 7 p.m. We also have a ladies meeting Wednesday at 4 o'clock. So we'd like to invite everybody to come out and be with us and just have your liberty in the Lord. Sweet and Sassy Hair Salon, featuring top-of-the-line hairstylists, nail tech, fabulous retail products, eyelash bar, and much, much more. Sweet and Sassy Hair Salon is an upscale salon catering to women of all ethnicities. Stop by for any of your beauty or spa needs. Located at 3031 Manchester Expressway in Columbus, Georgia, next to Peachtree Mall and right behind Crystal. Welcome back to the Sharon Jones Show. Was well, just talking with Mr. Frawley, and he gave us some great ideas and some things that we can do to help enhance our businesses. But today, also, I have a beautiful young lady, a woman of God, that is here to talk about her latest book and just some inspirational things and give us a little information about her. So I greet you in the name of Jesus, Prophetess Leticia Rice. Yes. Okay. Thank you. So Hi. how are you? I'm doing great. I you am look doing great. great. Thank you. Thank you. You do too. Thank as you. always. Oh God. Come yes. on now. Listen, what is it that started you? Your name of your ministry is Grace Outreach Ministries. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you're the founder and you're slash the minister, slash the prophetess. Yes. Slash um is there anything else go with that title? <laughs> I want to make sure we get you all in there, okay? Yes, I am. I am the founder. I am the director. Um, and I call myself the servant because I think more than anything, um, if we have any other, all these other titles, we should be the greatest title of anything is a servant. Is a servant. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. I totally agree with you. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. now you've written two books already. Yes, I have. Okay, and mm -hmm. I'm holding this one. This is your latest book? That is, yes. Okay, and it's uh, Real, R-E-A-L, yes. Woman, The Story Behind the Road. Yes. I like this. Thank you. I truly you. like this. Thank you. And um, I used to have a pair of pumps like that. No, <laughs> really, really. Yeah, in my younger years. Yes. Hey, man, I definitely can't put those on anymore. Thank you, mm, yes. my God. But listen, Ms. Uh, Rice, Prophet is Rice. When you wrote this book, yes. which was your first book. That was my first book. This was your opener, say, hey, I did it. That's right. Yes. And once you, my thing is when you accomplish one goal, mm -hmm. it'll get you motivated for mm -hmm. your second. This was just the beginning. It was, it was. And this is your second book. Mm -hmm. And I feel that there's a third book coming. Mm. It, there is. There Amen. Is, there is. You're already working on I, it. I, I am. But, you know, um, I want to first continue to um, get these books out and continue to do a work with these books because actually, Sharon, the, this book was in the works for a few years, the first wow. book. Um, this book is an actual, it started off being a manual, a teaching manual. Um, because I teach in the prophetic, because I am an ordained prophet. And so I started writing this. This was a manual, and it turned out to be a book, Looking actual. God. So it, I started writing this book about two years ago. And so I turned it into a um, book. It was a manual, a teaching manual. I did a class on the prophetic about two years ago, and God told me to um, turn it into a book. And so I turned it into a book two year, um, last year, and that's why I was able to 
I ended up writing that book so quickly after writing this one because it was already in the works. I and understand. so um, I was excited about completing this book and then starting to write um, this book, Real Women, Real Women, Real, the acronym stands for Righteous, Equipped, Anointed, and Loving. Wow, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, Only God can give you that. Mm -hmm. Amen. This is just one and a half years, mm -hmm. both yeah. books. Yeah. So um, I, I, I was excited about that book. And the, 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 the story behind this book, Real Women, is um, it talks about, it's, a, it's really a, a story about my life. And I think it's also a story about other women's lives because we are real women. We're women in the church, we're r women in the pulpit, um, and it's the story behind the robe, meaning that we're, we're, teaching, we're preaching, we're teaching, but we're still real women. We're hurting, we have stories to tell. Um, yes. We've been hurt, but we still have to get up and yes. do our jobs regardless. Yes. We're still called. We're still anointed. We're still loving. We're still anointed. And uh, so God still calls us no matter what our story is. Um, we're still called. And so that's the story behind that book. And it tells really my life story in that book. And so and I think a story of many women. So that's wow. why that book was written. Mm -hmm. mm, my God. They, t you know, they were talking to me one day um, before I really got it. Some things mm -hmm. just have to click. Mm -hmm. And I was talking about all the things that I had been through. Mm -hmm. And someone said to me at that time, they said, you didn't go through it for you, Sharon. Mm -hmm. You went through it for all the people lives that you're going to come in contact with mm -hmm. to touch them. Mm -hmm. I believe some of the stuff you've been through. You didn't feel you deserved some of it mm. because it was some at some time I'm sure it was very hard yes. pills to swallow in what you were going through. Yes. But once you got God bless you to get over it and you got through it through the fire and you come out not smelling like yes. what you've been through. Yes. Not the smoke. So my thing is this is all this stuff was for this book. Yes. All this stuff you've been through were for you to testify and have testimonials mm -hmm. of how God brought you out. Yes. Because even though I know, I haven't read this book yet, mm -hmm. but I know when I read this book mm -hmm. that it will definitely give me a whole nother perspective and, uh, and, and elevate me mentally in all that I've been through. Yes. Because we know how God anoints you mm -hmm. and appoints you to touch people's lives in a way. Mm -hmm. And he gave you that spirit and that mind mm -hmm. to get this book. Yes. As, as well as this book. Mm -hmm. And it is for a reason. We're going to come back in a minute after our, our station break mm -hmm. and we'll be right back because we want to talk a little bit more about how God has dealt with you mm -hmm. and how things are just manifest and how things are just moving in your life. Right. And we thank God for it. We'll be right back. Keep it locked with the Joneses. You know what to do. Sip and Paint with Creations is the ultimate paint experience. Award-winning artist Wanda Deep will guide you through painting, dancing, and the overall interactive art experience. Children's parties, couples parties, team building, or girls' night out. Sip and Paint with Creations. Give us a call or visit our website. Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Reverend Justin E. Garner, Jr. I'm the pastor of the Cornerstone Full Gospel Church. I'm also an author of the book, Through the Eyes of the Watchman. We'd like to invite each and every person to come out and be with us. Our services are Sunday morning at 11 a.m., Sunday night at 6 p.m., and Thursday is our midweek service at 7 p.m. We also have a ladies meeting Wednesday at 4 o'clock. So we'd like to invite everybody to come out and be with us and just have your liberty in the Lord. Through the Fire is a worship arts ministry located at 3604 Macon Road, Suite 19 in Columbus, Georgia. Through the Fire Ministries ministers by way of workshops, conferences, blogs, and books. Our Worship Arts Academy offers classes on worship, leadership, self-esteem, and discipline. Find us on Facebook or visit our website. Mm -hmm. 
Sassy Hair Salon featuring top of the line hairstylists, nail tech, fabulous retail products, eyelash bar, and much, much more. Sweet and Sassy Hair Salon is an upscale salon catering to women of all ethnicities. Stop by for any of your beauty or spa needs. Located at 3031 Manchester Expressway in Columbus, Georgia, next to Peachtree Mall and right behind Crystal. Welcome back to the Sharon Jones Show, sitting here talking with Prophetess Letitia Rice and all the great things that God has allowed her hands to touch. We're just so ecstatic today that we have such a wonderful, powerful woman of God in the set, on the set with us. So, Miss Letitia, Prophetess Letitia, oh. uh, <laughs> tell me about this. Oh, this, Sharon, um, and I was excited to see that we have uh, the same color prayer shawl. <laughs> this, I brought this prayer shawl because... God, um, about eight years ago, I started a prayer shawl ministry, and I started it by accident. And I say that because I got my first prayer shawl that was given to me by someone else. Um, purple, it's pur this one is purple Beautiful. because purple is the color of my ministry. Um, and God made me give it away. <laughs> and then after that, I began sewing prayer shawls into people. And I have sewed um, about 50 prayer shawls into people's lives. And I love it. And I order prayer shawls. I sew them into people's lives. And so I have a prayer shawl ministry. And this is why I brought this prayer shawl, just to begin to tell people that this is part of my ministry. And um, this, in the past year, God began to... Um, allow people to sow into my ministry in order that I may sow back into other people's ministries. And so I brought this just to show that um, this is the type of prayer shawl um, that I have. Um, and to, I sow it into people's lives. And um, this is biblical. The prayer shawl is biblical. Um, it's in Numbers um, 15, um, 37 through 41. So it's telling us that um, this is part of our um, heritage. And so this is part of my ministry, sewing into people's lives. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. And you have also prophetic classes? I do, I do. Um, this month, um, I, I'm part of um, Hope International Ministries. Uh, my overseer is Pastor Mary Mallory out of Neptune, New Jersey. And we are doing, um, connected with my ministry um, in New Jersey, we're doing prophetic classes on Thursdays at 8 p.m. And um, if someone wants to know about how to get on because there are different ways I'm doing them via like a Skype, which is Zoom. Wow. So we can do face to face because I believe it's, it's good to do face to face. Yes, it is. And we're doing them over the phone as well. And wow. so they can go, if people want to know more about how to take the class, they can go on my um, website, which is www.graceoutreachmen.com. And um, they can see how to get on those classes every Thursday this month at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay. And it's free, it's free. And it's a lot of information oh, to give about the prophetic. And so it's really, we're having a good time on there. We're learning and we're prophesying, activating. And so it's really good. We're enjoying it. That is good. Mm -hmm. When I met you, I know there was something different about you. you. You had a, a strong shine on you. Thank and, you. And people, old folks said that glow. Oh. That, that, that glow of light. <laughs> you do too. Uh, well. I knew we connected for a reason. <laughs> yes. Thank you, honey. I tell you. Mm -hmm. But I knew that. And I, mm -hmm. I wondered because at the time you were in the background. Mm -hmm and uh, other people was on the forefront. Mm -hmm. But see, the Bible tells me the last to come first yes. and the first to come last. Mm -hmm. So God has just rotated you from the background mm -hmm. more closer to the forefront. Mm -hmm. And I don't see you being hungry for the front. Yes. It's just that God has positioned you yes. to go to that direction. Mm -hmm. What he has for you and how he has your life set up, you can't do nothing but follow the steps that he orders. Yes. So that's why I see you just growing. Mm -hmm. I see you glowing, growing, and I see you're knowing. Thank you. <laughs> so, and you are a seer. Yes. And I appreciate you for that mm -hmm. because you do put out a lot of good stuff. Mm -hmm. And again, people don't do stuff for free, mm -hmm. hardly ever. Mm -hmm. Everybody want to charge 
for their anointing and their their their, their, their prayers almost. Mm -hmm. It's hard to get a prayer free almost nowadays. <laughs> yes. Because everybody's into what they can get. Yes. And you, woman of God, you have worked as a, a, a long-term person mm -hmm. in this community. Mm -hmm. You're from here too as well. I am. I am from here. I went to Spencer High School. I have lived in Atlanta for the last 10 years and I just relocated back because I got married. Oh, and wow. my husband is Elder Cortez Peterson. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. God, glory to God. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. They say behind a good woman is a good man mm -hmm. as well as behind Vice a good versa. man yes. is a good woman. Mm -hmm. So I speak blessings over your marriage and your, your spouse and you. May God continue to get you um, tighter together in the word. Thank you. Amen. Because mm -hmm. you, you can only go up. Yes, yes. Mm. Been mm -hmm. down enough, mm -hmm. huh? Yes, yes, Amen. Yes. That's the way to do it. Mm -hmm. That's how we can appreciate. Mm -hmm. Isn't that right? That's right. That's right. And so I'm excited about what God is doing um, in my life as well as the life of, um, the, the, in, well, as well as in the kingdom. And so um, people can also find my books on the website as well. Um, find out how to purchase them. Um, if people take the prophetic class, they can also get a discount um, on the book because the book, the prophetic book is also a teaching manual too as well. Mm -hmm. Goodness. Mm -hmm. And normally your rates are pretty reasonable. They are. They are reasonable too. And people, I just encourage anybody that's um, operating as um, a, in the book, the spirit of prophecy or the office of a prophet to um, learn more, to get books, to take classes too, because we... Um, we need to know more about our gift. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is so true. Mm -hmm. We need to know. Wow. They say that knowledge is power. It is. And spiritual knowledge is powerful. Mm -hmm. We do. And see, we need to understand that even Jesus, the Bible says that Jesus grew in wisdom, grew in stature and in wisdom and in knowledge. And so he didn't come here all knowing. And so we don't need to think that we came here all knowing and we don't need to get information. And Amen. so we need to take classes. We need to understand what we're doing. Amen. Mm -hmm. So they can get books. Uh, only can they get them in any of the bookstores here? Um, it's, you can order it through Barnes and Noble. You can order it on Amazon and you can go on my website and it'll connect you to Amazon um, okay. and they can order it on Amazon. Great. They can um, find me on Facebook. They can find me um, on um, F Facebook on Grace Outreach Ministries. They can find me on Facebook under Letitia Rice. Um, and then um, also follow me on Periscope under Prophetess Letitia. Instagram under Prophetess Letitia, um, and those are the ways to follow me. But my ministry is on Facebook under Grace Outreach Ministries. Wow, way to go, because mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I will follow you on there as well. Mm -hmm. I know mm -hmm. I follow you Facebook, mm -hmm. but uh, that's even better. Okay, well, we'll talk to you next week. Same place, same time. Keep it locked with the Joneses. Thank you for watching today's show. If you would like additional information about today's show, call or email us. 